welcome to my channel, Redfields Crafts. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time that you've watched one of my videos, my name is Kirsten. Um, I am a military spouse and we just moved back stateside after being overseas for the past few years. Um, that was a really cool and awesome experience for not just myself but my children as well. Um, my channel is all about crochet and yarn and all that fun goodness. Um, so yeah, if you, if that is something that interests you, um, please go and hit the subscribe button down below. Like this video if you like this video and share it if you want. Um, so today I wasn't going to hop on and do a video, but it's been about a week since my last video. Um, I think the last video that I put up was my yarn swap video. So it's been, oh, I think maybe almost two weeks since I've done a yarn chat video. And I'm so sorry about that. I just, I just haven't really been in the mood to make a video. And plus I haven't really been crocheting all that much. Um, I'm trying to get things going so that way I can go back to school to further my degree in education. Um, so that has been um, taken up a little bit of my time because um, the program that I'm going into is is very hard. Uh, I guess it's not. It's very time consuming. There we go. It's a time consuming um, degree plan. I think. Yeah. That I'm going to I want to go into. Um, so yeah, that's been taking up a lot of my time. So I haven't really been what's that? garbage crocheting much. Um, I've done a few things um, here and there, not much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have done so far, or since my last yarn chat. Um, I had gotten a bunch of yarn in a mystery box bag. Um, I think it was from Yarnspirations and this was like, I want to say maybe three years ago that I got this. And it was this, this, like, this really like scratchy, rough, not fun yarn. Um, it was like this kind of colors like greens and grays and whites and ugh. So like I've tried to use this this yarn, um, I think on multiple projects, and I just didn't like the way it was feeling. So all I did recently was I made a rectangle granny, basically rectangle granny square. Uh, so that's the color way. Eh, it's not really all that great, um, but it's a big like rectangle. I'm thinking of just um, probably keeping this for when my dog stops biting on everything and this could be like his doggy bed blanket so I'm hoping that when I wash this it isn't so stiff or rough feeling so but yeah that's, that was my plan and I, I've been trying to get rid of this yarn forever and I'm so glad that I did and all I had left was this little ball which will go into scraps um so that was one thing that I finished. Um, the next thing that I finished, and this, I have been eyeing this pattern for a while now, and Rose over at Rose X Crochet, she does this um, quite a bit as well. Um, I used some of my Hobium cakes. Uh, it's called the Etrophil Puzzle Yarn. Uh, See, it is 250 grams, 1,093 yards, 55% organic cotton, and 45% anti-pill acrylic. Excuse me. So there's no color name. It's just a color number. It's PZ003. And the only reason why I said that is because my camera doesn't like to focus. But yeah. That's it right there, but my camera doesn't want to focus on it, so. But it's this nice, like, coral color, peachy coral color. And it just radiates out to add purples, and then dark purple, and then black. So, 
I really like this. Um, about the, pat the pattern. I mentioned started talking about it and I just completely didn't stop. The pattern is, oh, I don't know who it's by. Ah, uh, I'll leave a link to it down below, but it is called the Dragon Belly Shawl. And so this is mine. So starts all the way down here. And obviously I haven't done any of my ends, so it's a real big problem with me lately. I haven't been weaving in my ends, but that's fine. But yeah, just gradients out. Yeah, all the way and then it gets larger on one side. Wow. And then that is like where like the black came in. So this whole shawl used up one entire cake of this. So that was perfect. No scrap left over. Like this is my my tail. That's this is what I have left. So perfect amount and I really like it. I was kind of hesitant because every other row is done in the back post and I just didn't know how I'd feel about that in a shawl. But I actually really really like this and so you can wear it the traditional way you know around your shoulders like this very nice to drape over can't even see it very well and I'm sorry try and push you guys back nah still can't really see but yeah you can wear it like a traditional shawl like that or what I would more than likely wear it as because I'm not really a shawl person but I would wear it as a triangle scarf so so like that take my hair around so yeah that is how I would wear it and I really like really like this I love this yarn it is super so soft and very light feeling and definitely as you can super drapey which is so nice like let me try and tilt you guys forward a little bit so you can see how it looks so that's how it looks I really really like this I'm thinking of just sewing these ends in and calling this good and using this as a Christmas present for my sister-in-law because she likes purple as well as me so that's perfect I just love it but this shawl using this yarn took me about four to six days to do the shawl and that was working on it basically non-stop only because of the yarn side the the size of the yarn and plus me going to school and kids and you know all that stuff it took me a while to do but yeah one whole cake of one of these which is great that over there so that is done uh, I'm gonna put that right there so the next thing that I started working on again was I've had these this whip just lying around for close to a year now and it is my willow square willow squares and I've decided to just you know finish them off and join them all together and make them into a blanket. So I started joining them all together. So the yarn that I used for this, oh, it's in a baggie, was Lion Brand Baby Soft. Um, this yarn is 60% acrylic, 40% nylon, a size three. So I used this color, which is called Teal. And I used purple in the colorway Orchid. So those two colors together. This yarn is really nice and soft. So what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do when this blanket is done, because it's gonna be a really small blanket, it's probably gonna go over the back of my chair at my desk or on my couch over on the other side of the room. So got those four. And again, I haven't woven in any of these ends yet another four that I gotta join together just gotta keep you know 
joining them all together. So those are my willow squares and I love this pattern. Um, Sarah Jane from Bella Coco, she does a tutorial on this, this square so I will leave a link to that down below if you are interested in doing this. It's very nice. It's going to be a nice small little blanket so nothing crazy. So it's just going to be like four squares by four squares so super small but that is where I'm at with that. Just got to do the long ways and possibly add a border and that will be done and hopefully I'll have that done by next weekend. Hopefully. So that's that. And then the last thing that I've been working on and this is something I've started I think what's today today so I probably started this on Tuesday night right after I finished my dragon belly shawl which I will be making I probably will be making another one of these and probably in the exact same colorway um but yeah I have been working on a ne my next Christmas gift for one of my nieces. Um, she wanted, so what was it, like a couple years ago, I made her a hat and scarf set um, with my shells pattern. Um, so she, this year she wanted another set, same pattern. She just wanted it bigger because, you know, it's been two years and she's grown quite a bit. So. I went to Hobby Lobby to get some yarn and her favorite colors were, you know, pinks and purples. So my husband found this color right here. Ooh, it's kind of blown out. There you go. He found this one. Um, again, I love this yarn print. Uh, yeah, print. It is called Daydreamer is the color. I really love this yarn. It is super soft. Um, so if you aren't familiar with Hobby Lobby yarns, or the I love this yarn, it is a number four weight, 100% acrylic, five ounces, 252 yards in one of these little balls. Um, so I started working up the scarf, and this is how this yarn works up. Oh my god, look at that. It's very, like, very, like, beachy, like, very tailish, so it definitely reminds me of like mermaids and it also the colors remind me of like Disney princesses which she is a huge Disney princess fan so perfect I just I love how this came out like look guys look look at those colors I love it so and this is my shell stitch scarf pattern so she wants an infinity scarf that wraps around once. So this is what I've got so far. It's n it's probably could be big enough to wrap around her, but I have to wait for my daughter to get home and try this on her to see if it fits her and if she has room to pull it on and off. And then this scarf will be finished. And then I have to make a matching hat with the same yarn in the same pattern. So again, I do have a tutorial for for this pattern, or yeah, for this pattern, for the scarf and the hat. Um, I will leave a link down below to both of those tutorials if you guys are interested. Um, very quick and easy. You know, it's mostly double crochets and single crochets. And the scarf flew off my hook this yarn recommends a what size? Eh. It recommends a size 5.5 or an I crochet hook. I am using a six. I am dropping everything. Oh my goodness! Today is not my day, guys. I am using a size six millimeter crochet hook or a J. It's my clovers, which I love. And I felt like that was better because. I don't know. I, I feel like this yarn might be a little too thick to use a 5.5 with, especially if you're doing a scarf. So I went up to a six. Um, now I'm probably going to start the hat later tonight. So 
I'm gonna do a gauge swatch using the five and a half and my six for my hat because I don't want it to be too big. I don't want there to be too many gaps, which I guess there's not really with this. Maybe I'll just use my, yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with the six. So forget what I just said about the gauge swatches. I'm probably not gonna do that anymore. But yeah, so this is my, my work in progress. And then I'm gonna be starting a hat. And then I have a couple more Christmas gifts that I wanna start. I need to start working on my elf hats for all of my other nieces and nephews. Just, I haven't been in the mood to crochet really. Just been doing simple stuff. Like, this was very mindless to do because it was all double crochets and chains. Was there chains? Yeah. So, very simple, mindless to do. The shell stitch, very simple and mindless to do as well. Barely any counting. So, that is what I've been up to. Um, I don't know when I will put up my next video. I am trying to focus on school and I'm gonna be taking um, classes this summer so that's gonna be really stressful as it is because summer classes are not very long compared to like the regular semesters. So I might not really be on too much and then I know I'm waiting for the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn sale. I cannot wait for that. This will be my first year doing it and I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I don't know if there's anything else. I'm trying to think. No. I might have a go with with making some more hats on my Addy knitting machine. I haven't decided. Probably should. I've been in a funk, guys. I don't know. I'm just like kind of rambling and not really saying anything and I need to stop. So I'm going to end this video right here. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. I think this video will be coming out on a Friday, April 23rd. Yeah. So I hope you all have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um, I also have a um, Etsy page with um, some stitch markers in that are on sale right now. And then I, if you haven't already, I have an Instagram page. So if you want to go and check that out, the link will be down below in the description box. I would love to have you guys um, as friends on my Instagram. So yeah, that's it. That's all that I have. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.